Got another one of these creepy tunnels. Oh, it's about to get dark. Oh, got to take sunglasses off because I can't see the tunnel. All right, so here we are. Uh, it is October 14th. We're in the middle of October, as you can see by the fall colors around me. Um, it's looking pretty sweet up here. It is currently 54 degrees. Uh, we are on the Blue Ridge Parkway. This week I'm going to do a little uh, Halloween camping. So we have doing the Halloween camping. We are going up into Transylvania County. That's the name of the county we're going to be camping in, which I thought was really cool. And to top that off, I'm going to be hiking up on a trail and trying to find a campsite up there on Graveyard Ridge. So I don't know. Oh, hold on, I got another creepy tunnel coming. Um, it's crazy. It's getting dark. Uh, hopefully, you know, no ghost or boogeyman ain't out there. Uh, but it should be fun. I thought it'd be kind of cool. Do a graveyard ridge in Transylvania County right around Halloween. So that's that. I will... This, this trip I'm trying this trip I got a lot of different stuff with me I've been always trying different ways to do this um, I got two backpacks actually in the back plus all my overland stuff in the back of the truck so I took a lot of time scouting out some spots up here these tunnels are killing me um, to find out where there's overland spots and so I can car camp if I need to. Not on my setup, just a base camp. Then I've got my backpacking set up. If I can get a spot up on, I don't think I can camp on Graveyard Ridge. I found a couple people on the internet said you can't camp up there. So I'm going to look around, scout it out, see if I can get a spot up on Graveyard Ridge. But if I can't, there's some trails on the other side of the parkway that I know I can camp in. And there's some car camping spots. So if I can hike into a spot, I'll hike in with all my hiking gear. The park ranger, what's she doing? Um, I hike in with all my, my backpack and stuff and set up camp that way. <coughs> the other pack I brought is a bushcraft pack. Now, I haven't done a bushcraft camp yet. And for those who don't know, the bushcraft one is very lightweight minimal stuff in it I've got a tarp a sleeping bag and basically a foam mat and that's it you gotta kind of craft everything else at the campsite it's the most you know backcountry uh, primitive way to camp if you're basically going in with nothing you kind of gotta go that route so I might try that if I feel a little adventurous We'll see. We'll see when we get up here. Pretty out here. A little bummed out though. That graveyard ridge trail I wanted to do. I came up here on a Wednesday. You would think there wouldn't be a lot of people up here. Packed. Like just people lined up down the street parking packed to get up to that trail. And then some guy like parked in front of me. It was a whole thing. I might even got it on camera. So it kind of ticked me off a little bit. Um, see so many people up here, because it's usually what I come up here to do is get away from people. There's a stream running there. So I had a backup spot, which is where I'm at now, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm just kind of hiking around, exploring. This is game land. So the only issue around here is uh, there's a lot of guys out here running dogs. Um, if you don't know what running dogs is, I got a little experience with it when I was a kid, younger, in Mayo, North Florida. My uncle used to run dogs, and uh, 
He's got a bunch of hound dogs in the back of a truck and they're in a cage type thing, a box, dog box. And you just let them go out here in the woods and they run and they chase game out of the forest uh, for the hunters. Um, so you gotta worry about packs of dogs running through here. That could be a problem. All right, I'm gonna follow this trail. campsite set up and uh, this one comes with a bathroom that's a toilet seat Let's see if I can get in there it's your toilet seat right there some toilet paper right for the tree that's what we don't do that's how they close the sites campsites down that's nasty y'all So I got my little bushcraft lean to a frame. That's right. That's right. I could be on alone. Except I don't like being alone for that long. So that's probably why I would be on alone. Anyway. So this kit I think would work pretty good if I end up staying out here tonight. I'm still up in the air about that one. Uh, I'm gonna hang out for a little bit longer. Maybe I'll eat something. If I leave now, I get stuck in traffic anyway, so I'm better off just waiting it out. See if things die down around here a little bit. Um, maybe enjoy a campfire. All right, so you guys know I'm always looking for unique ways and special ways in the places I go to for fire starting. This week, I have some people back there in the woods. Um, this week, I think I found an even better fire system that's very unique to this 
particular uh, part of the woods that I'm in. So, and I kind of saw it earlier, but I didn't want to walk up to it. So we're gonna go, go grab it now. I think if I go over here, and I gotta keep you guys kind of close. So I don't want to get uh, some weird stairway here. I gotta go up this thing. It's kind of dangerous. But there's, yep, I found it. I found it, guys. Yes, this is gonna be a good one. Here it is right here. This is this is called a fire pit. If you're lucky, you can find one of these. Um, with the fire pit, you just go down. There's this little lever down here. Let's see if this works. Did you guys see the video? Boom. I got fire for the night. I was lucky to find that one. Yeah, I'm gonna call this one early. It's just too much traffic out here, too many people. And the you know, hunters and the dead animal that's around here somewhere, being my third spot. Uh, just not worth the risk for what it is. I don't know. Try to keep positive. It was a nice day though. So I at least got out. Let's see the fall foliage and all that good stuff. But uh, I really wanted to do a backpacking trip um, where I hike in and set up camp. And after that first, uh, the graveyard ridge was full and packed. And I realized I couldn't do that backpacking trip. It kind of, everything kind of went south from there because that's really what I wanted to do today. So, you know, chalk it up to a nice day. And then, until next time, <coughs> we'll go somewhere even more remote, I guess. Oh, thank you for the people. I, I'm from Florida, but my gosh, every tag up here is Florida, 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 Florida. I moved, you know, because I realized how much Florida sucked. So I moved up here. <coughs> but then all the rest of y'all come up here driving around like you don't know what you're doing. That's what gives Ford drivers a bad name. I guess everyone got off Columbus Day this week in Florida and just took an extended week uh, off. And that's why I was maybe so busy up here on Wednesday. You know, bikers coming by here on bikes, mountain bikes, asking for directions because they were lost. And then the, the dogs and the hunters. And so it's just, that's, I don't come out here camp to deal with all that. So until next time, take it easy. And... Stay in Florida. Bye.